this Ryan Garcia situation is getting weirder and weirder every time, guys. What is going on? It is your boy, Jose. And today, guys, we're going to take a listen to this conversation that Ryan Garcia had with Andrew Tate regarding what's going on with him. And, uh, man, it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird situation. So uh, let's just get right into it. Let's take, a, let's take a listen. Also, there's a lot of profanity, so just FYI, if you guys don't like that, mute it. I'm going to keep chasing him up. And I'll unmute the mic again when he's online. Ryan, unmute your mic. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied... I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. He doesn't want to take us all, so let's go. Come on, Ryan. He doesn't want to take us all. Come on, fuck this guy, dude. Bro, fuck this dude, dude. Who? Who? Bro, you, know you, the, you know you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. <laughs> well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst No, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these give... things. On... You have proof of this on your phone. Yes, of course I do. The fuck are you talking about? Of course, if Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to get my... you out of it? I can help. Well, bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh... well I can help you get out of it if you want. I know. Do you see? Why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted? Let people at home understand you a little Because bit. I don't give a fuck, bro. They raped me, right? I was two years old. They raped me. I have proof of that, too. That's where it all started, bro. Okay? You do know there's going to be certain people who believe. And I'm... Ryan, you know, I like you. We've been speaking for years. You know there's yeah. going to be people who believe you're just saying this because... You've, I don't know, had a mental breakdown or taken drugs and you're repeating of course, some of, of the course. things you said on the internet. And the, Guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you on your fight camp. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're going to have to you're going to have to tell a far more, co more coherent story from start to finish for people to truly understand that mm -hmm. what you're saying happened is what you saw and that this is not some sort of episode or anything else. This is my advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it, if you want people to believe you, you're gonna have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. Of course they're gonna want that, and I have all the information possible. Okay, so when are you releasing it? How are you releasing it? Or are you keeping it for yourself? Because it looks like you don't want to keep it for yourself. I don't. At the right time, I'm gonna release all of it, but at the right time I'm gonna do it. They're already calling me to tell me to stop. I don't give a fuck, dude. I've already had a meeting with them. I'm gonna let you sit with that, Andrew. All right, bro. Well, I want you to know that either way I'm praying for you and I hope that- Thank you, bro. You know, no, and, and I mean I don't that, give absolutely. a fuck, bro. A Alex Jones has been saying the same shit and they try to can't, the only reason they can't stop me because they listen to the devil. I listen to God. God gave me authority. It's over for everybody, bro. So, yeah. Sounds, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I mean, it sounds like, like he's saying, like Andrew's saying, right? Like, you're going to have to have a lot more information for people to believe you. Because it's like some of the stuff he's just reiterating is sound. It's just like stuff that. You know, if you've been on social media for any period of time, you'd probably know Alex Jones talked about Bohemian Grove. You know, the conspiracies or the thoughts around those certain things that supposedly happen um, when you're around the elites and all that horrible demonic stuff that 
potentially i i think it probably does but you know i think there's probably a lack of evidence to prove it wouldn't be surprised if it does happen and so it's like are you just reiterating stuff that you know that you've heard that you want to like use in the situation um so you can get yourself out of it or are you being serious um i mean i don't know we don't know we just got to be praying for this guy it's crazy to hear like all these things that he's talking about like he got you know touched as a two-year-old but he said they he's like they touched me but at two years old like i don't know if it was like a family member probably i think that's what i heard somewhere maybe that's what he said i swear i just watched the video but <laughs> um so i don't know if it was like a family member or something but then it's like how does that the elites touching you you know what i mean it'd be satan through that person doing a horrible horrendous act on a two-year-old but when you say they, it's like there's certain elites in power who you're referring to that are doing this stuff. And it's like, that doesn't really sound like it adds up. I honestly think he sounds like he might be on something. He's kind of like slurring his words. He's got his raspy voice. Like he hasn't, he hasn't had that. And like the last, if you look at like a year ago, content a year ago, six months ago, he doesn't really sound like that. He sounds normal. His voice is good. He doesn't sound like exhausted. And so it's really concerning to hear his voice like that, hear him talk like that. Uh, he sounds really distressed because his ex-wife said he's not good and his brother said that he wasn't good, that he needs to, we need to be praying for him. So God knows what he's actually going through. Um, but obviously it's something. I don't think this is promo, really. I don't know who would take it that far to promote things. Uh, I remember this one guy on YouTube, Connor Murphy, if you guys remember him. He was like big. He's like this bodybuilder. And then he went through like this whole drug deal not drug deal, but he was on drugs for a while. And he was like, I remember because he was like, he was saying like similar stuff. It almost seems like the same type of way talking in a similar manner as, as Ryan is. And so somebody either, he's either on something. I feel like he's taking drugs maybe, or somebody's giving him stuff to say, but at the end of the day, guys, I don't know. We don't know. Um, but I just wanted to bring it out. Cause I'm like, this is insane. Like, this guy seems to be almost losing it. And so, what does it profit a man to gain the world but lose his soul? That's what it reminds me of. We just gotta be praying for this brother. He's going through a lot. He's professed faith in Jesus. So I think we need to make sure that we are praying for him. Because we don't know what it's like to be in his shoes and he can't he's not doing well so with that being said guys let me know what you guys think in the comments what's going on what do you think of that video pretty wild i'll see you guys real soon